Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you guys about something that I've always kind of wanted to hear about and everyone has their own opinions and I just want to give mine. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about what tokusatsu shows you should watch if you're interested in, you know, getting into it. Um, I'm going to be talking about three shows, three series in particular. I'm going to be talking about Super Sentai. I'm talking about Kamen Rider, and I'm talking about Ultraman. These are the main three you'll see around around it in 2020. These are the ones you're going to see a lot. So, <clears throat> let's take this one step at a time. First, the easiest one to get your hands on is Ultraman. You'll be able to get um, Ultraman Jeed, Orb, and a bunch of others via Mill Creek Media on Amazon. I'll provide links to those in the, in the description below. But I just wanted to show that um you have those options they're 20 bucks each you can't you can't beat 20 bucks and then you get it in two days and then you have the entire show and a movie with it that goes with it for the show and i also i suggest getting orb because that is the older of the two and orb is cool I like Orb, but Jeed's good too. You can't go wrong with all Jeed or Orb. And if you if you really want to delve into it, um, start from the beginning and get all and get Ultra Q and the first official series of Ultraman. You know, Ultraman. And that is the easiest one. Um, if you want to, you're sadly not gonna be able to get the very current current season without doing some <clears throat> other things that you probably don't want to do. Uh, so it's just easier to get an older series and start from there. And sometimes that can benefit you as well. So that way you can see later, be like, oh, he came back in this one, or he or this actor showed up in this one, or he played this character. It's cool to see those type of connections. For example, uh, as of the time I'm recording this, uh, Kirima Ranger hasn't come out yet, but uh, when that does come out, uh, Kirima Pink was canon in Kamen Rider Ghost, which was great. It was a good show. Um, not one of my favorites, but I still enjoyed it. And I had fun with it. And that, and that is another thing I want to mention. You can... I want... For the people who want to watch my channel and watch my Toku Times and all that stuff. I want you to form your opinions. That's why I want, that's why I have the show set up the way it's set up. So I want you guys to form your opinions on the shows that I'm watching, and I will give mine as um, as we watch it together. Now, it's not a perfect system because I've yet to upload the first um, part of Kuga, but I'm working on it. Uh, and another thing is that I wanted to let just everyone realize that your opinion and my opinion can be different, and that's okay. In fact, I encourage it, and I will respect any opinions that I see in the comments below. So please, if you guys have opinions that, based upon um, Ultraman, Sentai, or Kamen Rider, that you want to hear my thoughts on, like show that you want to hear my thoughts on or a game or a movie or whatever then let me know and i will be able to form my opinions and get back to you and i will do that in video form so that way you can interact with me and i, and I like that interaction between the viewer and the creator i like that it, it's it, that's always fascinated me now another thing i want to mention real quick before we get into sentai starting is that it doesn't matter where you really start with these shows you can really just hop in and be fine that's why i suggest starting with orb because then you'll get like a small history of the uh past ultraman and you'll be able to know what's going on before anything crazy happens oh sorry before anything crazy happens <clears throat> That's why I suggest you start with Orb. But again, that's just my suggestion. You can start with wherever you feel like starting with. You can start with Rube. You can start with uh, Taiga. You can start with Ultraman 80. 
uh, Ultra 7, um, maybe a G Ginga, Ginga S. All, there's so many options for you to start from. And I understand that starting from certain points can be difficult. That's why I suggest getting your hands on the easiest thing that you can start off, which is a Blu-ray of um, Ultimate Orb through Amazon. And that's great. It's amazing that they're doing that. Anyway, moving on to Super Sentai. <clears throat> now, I started watching Super Sentai with um, Zoo Ranger, which is the Japanese equivalent to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The first season, anyway. I started with that. And that's fine for me. It might be different for you. You might want to start something a little bit more modern. Um, like, you might want to start with uh, Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger, the most recent one that just ended. Uh, or you might want to watch all the way through Ru Ru Soldier, the current one that's ending in a few weeks. You might just want to wait and start with Camera Ranger, the one that starts in March. Th there's no wrong answer for you to start. I suggest you start with... Some when picking what you want to start with, you want to start with something that can give you a good, uh, like, say you like the suits, like, if you really like those suits and you want to see them in action again, start with that one, because I like Zoo Ranger suits, I liked them, they were cool, um, although my favorite suit has to go to Mega Ranger, or, um, in space, those are my favorite suits, I love them, uh, I like the simplicity, I like the visors, I like the, I like it all, anyway, um, so you might want to start with that and there's easy ways to get those to those ones as well which is through um shout factory you can order those through shout factory and they come in dvds you don't get the movies but a lot of the times in um in the late 90s sentai there weren't many movies i know for zoo ranger there wasn't one or one that i could find anyway and most of those movies are filler episodes anyway that are slightly longer than the show that's fine, and they're doing some older ones, so like you can start with Five Man, Jet Man, or something. There's there's tons of different things you could do for that one. And my suggestion would be to start from one that you enjoy the suits and the motif. Same way with Ultraman, and the same as you can go for Rider. But for Rider, I have several entry points, is why I'm saving Rider for last. Uh, for Sentai, t take your time. It's it's a team show. I'm currently on Gow Ranger. That tells you where I am. I'm in the 2001 uh, season. And I'm currently... I, I want to watch through all of them so I can catch up to it and be like, okay, no more old Sentai. That's, that's my goal, but that's not going to be a thing for a long time anyway. So, because Sentai is literally always changing and always getting that, getting to that point. There's always something new. Ah, excuse me. Uh, but, anyway, that, that's pretty much my thoughts on where to start with Sentai. Now, Common Rider. Oh boy, we got a lot to talk about with this one. Okay, so, first things first. Start with where you want. Again, I, I know I keep reiterating it, but it's super important. Start where you want, not where someone else decides for you. For example, my first writer show, Common Rider Deno, aired in 2007. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, that's cool. I like time travel. That's awesome. Let's do that. There's trains. Ooh. <laughs> I think I see really like trains. Anyway, um, it, it was a great starting point for me. I enjoyed it. And I had so much fun watching that show for the first time. It's so much fun to watch. That you might have a different opinion. You might want to start with Kuga. If you do, I suggest waiting for my um, Tokyo Time Kuga video so you can watch alongside me. Ah. And um, you might not want to start with Kuga or Deno, you might want to start with something in Phase 2 of the Ace era. Or you might even want to start with the original from the show era. I don't suggest that because like a lot of the subs are hard to find for that one. But while the Heisei era subs are a lot 
easier to find and a lot easier to get a hold of. Okay, that's what I did. It's great. I have not regretted it since. Now, where to start with Ryder? Well, for, there's a few decisions you have to make first. Do you want to start before 2009 or after 2009? Because that's when the haste, that's when the first phase of the Haste era split. First and second phases split um, with Decade. And if you watch Decade as a starting point, that's pretty good too. Because then you don't have to watch the other ones to get the main ideas of the other shows. Which I was like, oh, I get it. That makes sense. After I watched it, I was like, oh, that's different. That's cool though. Um, Decay is a cool idea. Anyway, if you want to start with phase one, I suggest starting from Kamen Rider Denno. You don't need to watch anything else after, before that. Um, Denno is super fun. There's a bunch of good characters in there. It's great. If you want to start with phase two, I suggest starting with Kamen Rider Double. And that is one of my favorite seasons of Kamen Rider. I'm currently watching it through with my buddy Matt. And um, it's he. I think he's having fun with it. He, he, we, we are both enjoying it. I'm enjoying knowing something he does not know. Uh, and I also enjoy just hanging out with my friend and watching the show. Again, that could be different for you. You may just want to watch it alone. And that's fine. Uh, another thing is that after Kamen Rider Denno, there's a, a few crossover movies, um, not many. Uh, it's really more towards doubles end is when they start coming out again. So be wary of that. You might not understand it right away, but you could be like, oh, okay, that's what happened here. And now I know that. It, it might just, it might confuse you. Don't worry. If you're confused, go see some help. Just, or watch a little bit of that show beforehand. Or just keep that information in the back of your mind. And be like, oh, okay. Uh, for me, I watched it in order, so it didn't really matter much. You know, as you do. Uh, and what's the other thing? Oh, another thing is that another good show to go into is Gaim. Kamen Rider Gaim. That is a great series. Uh, it does have a crossover with Wizard, and it has a it has a few movies in there. It's a great series. You don't need to watch anything beforehand. The stuff with Wizards and Epilogue, basically. You don't need to understand it or know it. It's really nice. Anyway, where was I? Uh... So yeah, I suggest watching from watching Guy and you'll be a little confused about the crossover movies, but that's fine, you don't really need to know Wizard's part. Um, it's only like 30 minutes and it's, it does nothing. It does nothing to add to the story of Guy's part, so you can just skip it if you'd like. Which is all, how a lot of these work. Um, but it's, again, it's cool to see and all that. Again, these are all just my opinions. I want everyone to form their own with me and thus have a good time. That's it. <clears throat> now, another thing is just enjoy the shows. Okay. To recap, uh, start with whatever se series you want. If you start with an older one, be prepared to be like... like it's old, so it's going to be super cheesy, so be ready for that. Uh, just and enjoy the shows that you watch. There's no harm in just having fun with a TV show. Yeah? Alright. So, with that in mind, I'll see you guys in the next one.